Good day everyone and welcome to Jax Cosplay. My name is Jax and I do cosplay. Now recently a uh, build cosplay that I've been working on is Clone Commander Doom from Star Wars The Clone Wars. And part of Commander Doom's ensemble is he has two DC-17 blast pistols. So of course, I had to make some. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I made these blasters how I painted them and yeah it's a really quick tutorial doesn't take too long uh, you can probably do it as a weekend project and not too many advanced tools needed for it or techniques it's pretty basic techniques and what you what is used in this video the, the principles can also be used to make um, other props other blasters from the Star Wars universe other blasters from other universes so yeah um, so for this video uh, I used a template from Andrew DFT. Uh, the link to his video and his channel will be in the description. So go check him out, uh, go subscribe to him. He's got some really cool content, he makes some really cool props. Um, so, yeah, so thanks to Andrew DFT for the template for these. And yeah, so if you're keen to see how I built these, let's go check that out. So, to get started with this build, we first need to go ahead and get the pattern. I'm just going to mention again this pattern, it's not my pattern, it's all thanks to Andrew DFT. Once again, his link is in the description, so go check him out. You can get the pattern from his video, uh, which will all be linked in the description. So I'm just cutting out the two main pieces of the pattern, which is the body of the gun and uh, the handle of the gun. And I want to cut them separately because they're each going to be traced onto different pieces of foam. So I'm just cutting those out so that I can then trace them out onto my phone, and onto the foam. Sorry. And you'll see later, uh, we'll use the different parts of the pattern for other parts. So I'm just using a standard 10 millimeter EVA foam floor mat. Um, you can use, uh, you don't have to use floor mat, you can use other foam. And so I'm just tracing it out. So I'm tracing out the handle twice and the body three times. Uh, for the handle, I'm just making sure to flip it over so I can have two symmetrical pieces, but that's only because I've got a, a texture on the one side of my foam, uh, which I'll get really better. Uh, now, uh, cutting out the pieces of the foam, I'm just using a standard utility craft knife. Um, you just want to make sure that your blade is sharp, um, and yeah, uh, you should probably be sharpening your blade every six or so cuts so that you can get those nice, clean edges. Uh, for some of the cuts, I'm using a, a ruler just so I can get those nice, clean lines. Um, yeah. Um, there you can see that I've got the multiple pieces for the, the body of the blaster and for the handle of the blaster. Um, just cutting those out and sharpening my blade again just so I can get those nice clean cuts. And uh, if your two pieces aren't exactly symmetrical, that's also fine because after we've glued them together, uh, I'm going to go with a, a rotary tool or a piece of sandpaper and you can just clean up those edges to make sure they're all nice and flush. So if they're not 100% exactly the same, that's alright. And then here I'm just cutting out that little sense of detail at the back of the blaster. So it's got that nice angle to it. There's one piece done. So there I've got the three pieces for the body cut out and the two pieces of the handle and I've got a lot there because I'm making two blasters. And so we'll stack three together for the body and two for the handle so there'll be that little difference in depth just so it adds a bit of interest to the gun. Um, now my pieces do have a texture on one side so I'm just gonna go and sand away that texture so that they can uh, glue flush. I'm just using my Dremel rotary tool but you could use a piece of sandpaper, you could use um, a sanding belt, uh, whatever is easiest for you or what you've got available. If you've got a foam that's not textured on one side, you don't. Even, you can just skip the step straight away. But I was just using floor mat, so yeah. Now that I have uh, got them sanded down, I can go ahead and glue them together. I'm just using a contact adhesive. Uh, the brand I'm using is called Game Chem, uh, but there's lots of other brands out there like Barge, Cement, um, yeah. Uh, so the way contact cement works is you put a bit on 
each uh, on both surfaces you want to glue and then you let it dry for about five to ten minutes some of them can take up to 20 minutes and then when the two surfaces become tacky that's when it's time to glue them together um, you can do a double coat if you want uh, so now you see the two surfaces have become tacky so I'm just lining up the edges together and gluing them and contact cement it's pretty strong if you try and pull your pieces apart the foam will rip before the glue comes apart um, so yeah, so just line them up and now I'm just applying some pressure to get them to stick to each other. And I'm going to do the same thing for the, the body of the blaster. So now that the glue is dry on those pieces, I can go ahead and glue them together. And again, as I say, if those uh, if the edges aren't perfectly lining up, you can always go ahead afterwards and clean them up with a knife or some sandpaper or your rotary tool. Um, so yeah. But it does make your life easier if they do line up nicely uh, or approximately at the beginning. It's less cleanup work to do later. And now I'm sticking on the third layer for the, the body of the blaster. And applying some pressure so that they can stick nicely. And you'll notice once you've got three layers glued together, the foam does become fairly stiff, it does become quite strong. Um, so you see there, it's quite, it's quite stiff. So you don't really need to put anything in the foam like a, like a support or anything. And so you can start to see the, the blaster starting to take shape. So what I'm now doing is I'm working out where I need to glue the handle on. So I'm just hold, uh, putting the, the body of the blaster um, against the, the template and lining up where I want the handle to go and then once I figured out where I want that to go I just uh, make a mark with my pen or my marker and I just then know where I need to apply glue uh, so I can glue the, the handle to the, the body of the blaster and I'm marking it there from one blaster to the other because I'm making two of these blasters but if you want to make one that's fine the clone that I'm building for he has two blasters So they are just now nowhere, whereabouts in the sense I need to uh, mark, make my mark. And just drawing a small little rectangle where I need to apply glue to the body of the gun. And so yeah, I'm just using uh, contact cement. Apologies for my head being in the way of the camera there. So I'm just gluing that with contact cement and yeah. The other thing I also did was I went and I cleaned up the edges with a rotary tool and I also put a... Um, a bit of a bevel on the handle so it's a bit more comfortable to hold. Uh, so as you can see there, there's some more detailed pieces. There's those pieces on the side and those uh, three individual stripes. And that's just a combination of uh, cutting out some pieces of 10 millimeter foam and two millimeter foam. And I've also cut out the piece here for the, the trigger guard. We've also had a piece of 10 millimeter foam. And I'm just gluing that on there with some super glue. You could use contact cement as well. Um, and I just figured I'd use super glue for this part. You could use super glue for the entire build and it would work just as fine. Uh, each person has their own uh, personal preference of what glue they like to use. And so you can see the shape of the gun is starting to take place. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting out a, a circle of 10 millimeter foam which will go on the back of the blaster. I'm not exactly too sure what it is. It could be part of the clip or the magazine of the blaster. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, all the blast, all the DC-17 blasters have this. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just cutting out a circle of foam. Then I'll uh, smooth it out and round it out a bit more on some sandpaper. And then I'll cut a smaller circle of foam and uh, glue that into the center of it. So then I'll, and then that piece will glue to the back of the blaster. So then I'm just smoothing it out with some sandpaper. You can see I've got the smaller uh, disc glued onto it, so now I'm gluing it onto the back of the blaster for that extra bit of detail. And now we're pretty much almost done with the actual building of the blaster. The last thing we have to do is add the, the barrel of the blaster. And for that I'm just using some uh, basic PVC pipe, so I just went so I cut a small piece of PVC pipe and I'm just gluing that to the front of the blaster. Once again, I'm using contact adhesive. You could use whatever glue you prefer to use. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much the, the shape of the blaster built. 
So now I'm just using my heat gun and I'm just going and sealing all the EVA foam, uh, just running some heat over it so that it will, won't absorb as much paint. And you'll know that your foam is sealed when you see it changes texture from being porous to being almost glossy. And so that's how you'll know your foam is properly sealed, heat sealed. And I'm also priming and sealing the foam with some cold glue or other people call it wood glue. So I'm just uh, putting a bit of that glue in a cup and then I'll mix it with some water and then just use a standard paintbrush to um, apply that to the, the foam. So I got some glue in the cup and I've now mixed it with some water. And you just want to make sure that you cover all your foam surfaces with the, with the, the mixture of the wood glue and the water. Uh, you could also use Mod Podge, you could use plastic, whichever method you prefer for priming and sealing your, your foam, I prefer this method, method, so that's what I'm using. And now I've got those two covered in the wood glue mixture, so I'm ready to start painting. Uh, for the base coat, I'm just using a standard black acrylic craft paint, and I'm just going to cover the entire blaster in that paint. Just using a foam brush to apply it um, and yeah with the priming it of the wood glue mixture I actually gave it two coats and sanded it after each coat uh, just so it's a nice smooth appearance and smooth texture to it. So now I've gone and covered those in black paint and I'm just going to use a white paint and do some dry brushing so that the gun looks a bit more used and weathered so it doesn't just look factory new. So I'm just uh, putting a bit of white paint on my paintbrush and uh, dabbing most of it off on my, on my mat. There, my, my, all my piece of board that I use to work on. Um, and you just want to go and gently brush over the edges just so you can bring out those highlights and so it looks like that's where the paint would chip away and that's where it would get used. And after you've done that, you can go and seal it with a clear coat and then you're pretty much done. So here you can see I've done the whole side, one side of one blaster with the white dry brushing and it really makes it pop and it looks like it's an actual blaster in universe. And there we have it, that's how I built my two DC-17 blaster pistols from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Um, so yeah, so as I said, not too complicated of a build, uh, fairly easy and basic. Um, so yeah, so once again thanks to Andrew DFT for the templates. And if you do uh, try out building some of these, uh, please send me a picture, I'd love to see it. Uh, you can send that to me on my Instagram, which is at jacks.cosplay. Uh, also, my Instagram, I'm constantly posting build updates, work in progress, pictures behind the scenes, so you can see exactly what goes into building these things. Um, so yeah, so if you want to uh, stay up to date with what I'm working on, you can check out my Instagram page. Um, so yeah, so thanks for checking out my video. Uh, if you liked it, let me know. If you enjoyed it, let me know. If you want to see me do other stuff, uh, let me know. Uh, thanks.